Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm a dating and empowerment coach and a relationship and flirting expert on Ease Famously Single. Let's be honest, aren't you tired of the drama? I know it's exciting. It makes you feel like you're high as the butterflies take flight. You start imagining weekend romps and even your happily ever after, as you can see yourself spending an exciting life together. And then you don't hear from them, or a weird conversation, a text, a weird attitude hurls you into the throes of anxiety, and you start stressing, obsessing, and creating dramatic stories in your mind, all with a negative slant that leaves you feeling dumped and ditched. Relationships don't have to be complicated and confusing and dramatic in order to be good. In fact, those are signs that it's the opposite. Love. Healthy love. And even before love kicks in, the signs of a healthy relationship are about feeling good. It's about the simple feelings. Think about it. When you're with someone great, someone healthy for you, good for you, who you have real lasting potential with, how do you feel when you're with them? How do you feel when you think about them? How do you feel after you leave them or after they leave you? What sides of you do they bring out? Do you feel good, nice, happy, calm, excited? Is it fun, easy, simple? Those are all very simply great words, and that's what you want. Yes, challenged is good too, but that doesn't mean that it should be challenging. It means that they inspire you to be your best self. Simple is underrated. It's given a bad rep even. We diminish it as being basic in a bad way. It, like, not evolved, not experienced, small-minded, but it's not. It's an appreciation for the little things, the little things that matter the most, like feeling like a priority, like wanting to make time for each other, not just find the time, but make it, feeling safe emotionally, physically, sexually, being seen and appreciated and honored for who and what you are, not chastised, criticized, or looked down upon for what you're not. It's about feeling respected and admired. It's about feeling adored and cared for and nurtured. It's about allowing your sexy, unfettered, unfiltered, wild, beastly, ravenous, sweet, soft, tender, vulnerable sides to come out. And vice versa, you make them feel that way too. But not because you have to, because you want to. So I want you to stop thinking about dating and relationships and love as dramatic. I don't want you to feel like there's something missing if it's not. I know those moments when you're dating someone, you're like, so weird. Feels so good. Feels so easy. It's just kind of flowing. It feels natural. That's so weird. Maybe I should do something to rile it up, to make it crazy, to add the exciting, intense drama. No, don't go there. Allow it to be. That doesn't mean that the butterflies, the chemistry, the excitement is missing. All of that can be there without having the downs, without having the stress, without having the angst. Allow it to just be good and saturate in that goodness. And if you are in the other relationship, in the drama, then that's what you need to question. Don't question it when it's good. Question it when it's freaking you out. When it's making your mind spiral out of control and go to bad places, that's when you need to question it. Or question yourself. Maybe you're the one who is deciding to mistake texts. Maybe you are being obsessive because you're not allowing yourself to just enjoy the simplicity of it. And that's something I see all the time with my clients. It's good. There's nothing wrong. And so in their mind, it starts to go crazy because that's what they're used to. Well, why don't you get used to just feeling good? Just being easy. Just <sighs> exhaling into it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, I so appreciate you. You can follow me on Instagram at Laurel House, on Twitter at Dating Laurel, and learn more about me on my website, laurelhouse.com. Thanks so much for watching.